For this movie, we'll be using the brainstorm project I created, but it's a simple enough project that you could just follow along without having to open up this project. Now we're coming to the close of a very long chapter, and even a lot of these movies in this chapter were just skimming through tons of effects, even within that one movie. So it might be overwhelming with all the effects and all the possibilities and parameters and choices and properties and options. And so there is a great feature that we're going to talk about in this movie called Brainstorm. And Brainstorm allows you to see tons of variations of effects without having to do anything. So in this project I've created, I have a black solid layer. And if I go to the effect controls panel, basically I've applied the fractal noise effect and a colorizing effect called color balance. Now, I haven't done anything else to this. I haven't adjusted any properties. I've just applied them and left it alone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the shift key down and make sure that both of them are selected. And with both of these effects selected, I'm going to come down to my timeline panel. And I'm going to click the brainstorm icon. It looks like a little thought bubble with a light bulb in it. Click that. And instantly, we see variations of fractal noise and color balance. Now, we're not getting too much color, and we're not getting too much variation in fractal noise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the randomness value. This says, hey, go crazy After Effects. When we have a low randomness value, it's basically like telling After Effects, hey, don't go crazy, settle down, keep your variations very mild and subtle. So if we click Brainstorm again, we'll get another nine variations. And you'll see now, after clicking the button with the high randomness value, we've got a lot more color intensity and a lot more variations in the fractal noise as well. And we can just keep clicking these Brainstorms until we find something we like. Now, this is an interesting pattern. That looks awesome. I can click this button right here to maximize this tile and see it closer. And yeah, I like that. It looks like a vortex or another dimension or something. So if I like this, but let's say it's not exactly what I need for the project that I'm working on right now, but one day I would love to use this, what I can do is click this button, Save as New Composition. What that will do is create a brand new composition in the project panel with a layer with this already on it. I could then use it later, save it as effect preset or whatever but my current composition will not be affected in any way. If I do find what I like and I'm ready to close Brainstorm and just accept what I have, I can click this button right here, which will apply this to the current composition. Basically, my layers here in my Fetch Controls panel will be changed to reflect the settings that would make this pattern. I'm going to click the Maximize Tile button again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this button, which is Include in Next Brainstorm. This says, After Effects, you're getting close. I like this. So what I'm going to do is I take down the randomness back down to eh, maybe 40% or so, which says, I like this, but show me variations on this and be a little bit conservative. Click Brainstorm. And you see, it's not exactly the same pattern, but these are a lot of variations similar to that. We might say, hey, you know what? This is looking kind of dark and spooky. That looks good. Click that button, Brainstorm again. And so we could keep on going like this until we find what we want. I'm going to click the Cancel button for right now. One other thing I want to show you about Brainstorm, we're going to come back to Brainstorm later, by the way, when we look at shape layers. But let's say, for example, I'm playing with Fractal Noise, and I get what Fractal Noise does, but let's just say I don't really get what Fractal Type does, or Noise Type. Well, I can't actually select the properties here in the Effect Controls panel, but I can right-click on them and select Reveal in Timeline. So I click Reveal in Timeline. Here are these properties here, and you can select these properties here in the timeline. So what I can do is Shift-click these properties here, then go to Brainstorm. Again, color balance is not selected. The entire fractal noise effect is not selected. Just these two properties are selected. Click Brainstorm. Tell it to go crazy. And all I'm going to do is just see variations in those two properties. So this is a great way to learn After Effects. It's not just good for creating patterns, but I could also say, hey, you know what? This is what this switch does, or this is what this property does. I see the difference it makes now. I think Brainstorm, honestly, was one of the best and most unsung features of the last version of After Effects. I use it often just because it's a time saver. And get this. Let's say you already had animation in your project or in your thing that you're brainstorming. Let's say for Fractal Noise, for example, we had animated the evolution property. Well, when I open up Brainstorm, what I can do is click this play button down here and see the results of my animated properties with the new settings. I could also click the back button to go back through previous brainstorms of this session. Brainstorm really is a phenomenal feature for seeing what After Effects is capable of very quickly.